Hello everybody, hope everyone is doing good. In today's session, we will discuss module 5 titled as Scans. So before uh, going in detail what actually a CAM is, uh, we will conduct a very simple experiment which will explain the working mechanism of a CAM. So for this experiment, you will be needing a book and a pencil. So make sure that the book is at an inclined plane and hold the pencil loosely in your fist. Now when the book is moved smoothly up and down, you will notice that the pencil also reciprocates accordingly in your fist. So in this special experiment, we can consider book as the cam, pencil as the follower and the fist as the guide. So when the cam moves up and down, the same motion will be transmitted to the follower. So by using this simple mechanism, uh, we have it is possible to transmit one motion to another motion. So this is a basic working principle of a CAM. Coming to a definition of CAM or how to define a CAM. A CAM, a CAM uh, can be defined as a rotating machine element which gives reciprocating or oscillating motion to another element known as follower. Or it can also be defined as uh, it's a mechanism used to transmit a desired motion to a follower by means of direct contact. Now, a cam is the a cam and follower is one of the simplest as well as the most important mechanisms found in modern machinery today. The, because of this, cams are widely used for operating the inlet and exhaust valves of internal combustion engine, engine automatic attachment of machineries, paper cutting machines, spinning and weaving textile machineries, feed mechanism for automatic plates and so on. But the most important mechanisms are they are widely used for operating inlet and exhaust port of IC engines. Now as the cam and the follower are in direct contact with each other, the type of contact they are having is called a line. The type of contact they form is a line contact, thus form as line thus forming a higher path. And one more important I can say unique feature of a cam is that it can impart a very distinct motion to its follower. So when we say a very distinct motion to its follower, it means that the follower motion can be predetermined and this can be done according to the shape of the cam. And cam are usually rotated at a uniform speed by a shaft. So because as the follower movement can be predetermined, complicated output motions which are otherwise difficult to achieve can be easily produced with the help of cams. Now, for the cam to operate, uh, there are three mechanisms uh, that constitute a cam and a follower. So, the first element, necessary element, is what we call a driver member or commonly known as cam. Then, we, we need a driven member uh, called as the follower. And finally, we need a frame. And this frame supports the cam and the guide and guides the follower. Coming to the how, uh, manufacturing of cams, they are usually manufactured by die casting milling or by punch press. Next topic, classification of fol followers. The followers may be classified uh, according to the surface in contact, according to motion of the follower or the type of motion, or, or it can, uh, final last classification according to the path of motion of the follower or line of motion. So we will discuss briefly each classification one by one. The first classification is according to the surface in contact. The followers according to the surface in contact uh, are as follows. The first one we have knife edge follower. So here when the contacting end, uh, so just uh, if you want to see what type of surface, like how they classify according to surface in contact, you have to look at the uh, contacting end or uh, the contacting end of the follower. So in this particular knife edge follower, the contacting end of the follower is a has a sharp knife edge, hence it is called as knife edge follower. Thus and here the sliding motion takes place between the contacting surface that is the knife edge and the cam surface. And but the knife edge followers are seldom used in practice. The reason being uh, as it is a knife edge the con uh, the contact between the cam and the follower constitute a very small area 
and because of continuous usage it results in excessive wear and also in knife patch followers a considerable side thrust exists between the follower and the kite. Next uh, we have a current surfacing contact follower, follower. So as already discussed to uh, all uh, we have to look at the end and the contact end of the follower to decide what type of follower is that. So in roller follower when the contacting end of the follower is a roller it is called a roller follower as it can be seen in the figure. Here the rolling motion takes place between the contacting surface that is the roller and the cam. Now as the con as it is a uh, con type of contact is a rolling type the rate of wear is greatly reduced when compared to the knife edge. Uh, but the problem uh, of side thrust that is that was there in knife edge follower will also be there in roller followers. Uh, the, the roller followers are extensively used where the space availability is small such as in stationary gas and oil engines and aircraft engines. Coming to the third type we have the flat faced or mushroom follower. When the contacting end of the follower is a perfectly flat face, it is called a flat faced follower as uh, can be seen in the sketch. Uh, now as the con uh, end of the follower is perfectly flat, the uh, the, uh, the, uh, the more the, the surface area the contact of surface area is more hence the stress that will be applied will also be more and also the side stress between the follower and the guide is much reduced in, uh, when compared to that of knife edge and roller follower and the relative motion between the cam and the follower is, is, is largely of sliding nature okay and so that was regarding the flat head or mushroom follower. Coming to the last type, we have the spherical face follower. When the contacting end of the follower is a spherical shape, it is called as a spherical face follower as can be clearly seen in the sketch. Now it can be noted here that when a flat faced follower is used automobile engine, high uh, like in flat as was discussed in the earlier uh, type of follower in flat face the type of uh, uh, follower shape or is flat because it is flat the surface area contact is more and also the stress that will be also be more but by using the spherical shape followers this can be reduced to a very large extent next topic classification of followers the followers may be classified uh, according to the surface in contact, according to motion of the follower or the type of motion or, or it can, uh, final last classification according to the path of motion of the follower or line of motion. So we will discuss briefly each classification one by one. Next uh, type, uh, next uh, next type we have oscillating or rotating follower. Now, when the uniform rotary motion of the cam, that means when the cam is rotating uh, uniformly, and that rot uh, uniform rotation of the cam is converted uh, to a oscillatory motion of the follower, it is called oscillating or rotating follower. As in the sketch, the cam is rotating, but the motion that is followed by the follower is oscillating and so it is called as oscillating or rotating follower and the last classification or with a third type of classification is according to the line of motion of the follower in this there are two types the first one is what we call as the radial follower so in this type when the motion of the follower is along the axis passing through the center of the cam it is called as radial follower that means the center of axis of the follower as well as the axis of the 
cam will be same. It will lying in a straight line, same line, same path. Hence, it is called as radial followers. Uh, as you can see in the sketches below, whether it is knife edge or a roller or a flat or a spherical, if the axis of the follower and the axis of the cam are same, it's called as radial follower. Now, next we have the uh, second type that is offset follower. When the motion of the follower is along an axis away from the axis of the cam center, it is called offset follower. That means the axis of the follower and also the axis of the cam are not, not lying in a straight line. It will be offset. Now when solving problems, um, they will be usually measuring the follower is offset by so and so distance. Uh, so that means then we have to take, uh, sometimes in the problem itself they will mention whether the offset is on the left side or on the right side. But if nothing is mentioned, we are assuming that the offset will be on the right side. So this is what we call as the offset follower as can clearly be seen in the sketches. Next, uh, in, the in the last previous slides we have discussed in regarding the classification of followers. Next, we have the classification of camps. Now, uh, based according to the motion and displacement of the follower with respect to the axis of rotation or oscillation of the camps, we have the classification of camps. The first one we have radial or disc cam. Uh, in radial camps, the follower reciprocates or oscillates in a direction perpendicular to the cam axis. It's a very simple concept. Uh, the follower uh, will be reciprocating uh, the axis of the uh, will be in the direction perpendicular to the cam axis. Uh, it, the, it can be either uh, radial or offset. Even if even though it's a offset. Then also we call this radial or disc cam because the axis of the follower will be perpendicular to the axis of the cam. So as can be clearly seen in the sketches B1. The next we have cylindrical cam. In cylindrical cams, the follower reciprocates or oscillates in the direction parallel to the cam axis. So, so far we have discussed that either the axis of the follower will always be perpendicular to the cam axis. But, but, uh, but here in cylindrical camps, the follower reciprocates or oscillates in the direction parallel to the cam axis. The follower rides in a groove. So it, this, this can be usually, usually done when a follower rides in groove at a cylindrical surface and it is reciprocates in the plane parallel to the axis of rotation. Actually, in practice, radial camps are widely used. So henceforth, whatever we will be discussing, it will be only confined to radial camps. So this was regarding the classification of camps. Next topic, uh, we will see what are the different nomenclatures that are used in camps. And for this purpose, we will be uh, discussing, uh, taking a sketch from the, as already said, uh, actual practice radial camps are widely used. Therefore, the sketch here shows that of a terms used in radial cam and that type of follower here we are having is a roller. So the first uh, term that I use is base circle. Now whenever defining the base circle, please look at the sketch that has been given and according to that you read and study the sketch. The first is the base circle. Uh, basically it is the smallest circle that can be drawn to the cam profile. Next. Uh, definition we have trace point. So trace point it is the reference point on the follower and used to generate the pitch curve. So trace point um, if you take the case of a knife edge follower the tip of the the knife edge the knife edge represents the trace point and the pitch curve corresponds to cam profile. In the sketch here uh, we have a roller follower so the center of the roller represents the trace point. Next definition, pressure angle. So pressure angle is the angle between the direction of the forward motion and the pitch curve. This angle is very very important in designing a cam profile. The reason being, if the pressure angle is too large, a reciprocating follower will jump in its bearing. So that was regarding pressure angle. Next we have the pitch point. So pitch point, it is a point on the pitch curve having the maximum pressure angle. 
Next uh, type, uh, next class, uh, next type we have oscillating or rotating follower. Now, when the uniform rotary motion of the cam, that means when the cam is rotating uh, uniformly, and that rot uh, uniform rotation of the cam is converted uh, to a oscillatory motion of the follower, it is called oscillating or rotating follower. As in the sketch, the cam is rotating, but the motion that is followed by the follower is oscillating and so it is called as oscillating or rotating and the last we have two we have p circle p circle is defined as the smallest circle that can be drawn from the center of the cam and tangent to the pitch curve but if you take knife edge follower and a flat face follower the prime circle and the base circle are identical for a roller fall as shown in the sketch the prime circle is larger than the base circle by the radius of the roller. The last we have lift or the stroke. So lift or stroke is uh, the maximum travel of the follower from its lowest position to the topmost position. So that is how we define lift or the stroke. It is usually uh, concerned with the follower. So these are the important terms that are used in radial camps. And most of these terms we'll be using while solving the problems. So uh, today's session will end with this. So in next session we'll discuss regarding the motion of the follower. Thank you.